Hey everyone, this is Shashank. I hope you all are doing well today. So as you can see on my screen, today we are going to discuss a topic how to enable cross-region replication with AWS S3. Also, we'll be discussing why this is important uh, in certain context, why to use it. So first of all, we need to know some of the basic of S3, uh, S3 replication models. So I have jotted down few of the points as in all S3 cross-region replication configuration are completed at bucket level. Only one configuration for each bucket can be defined. So you cannot have a multiple configuration defined for each bucket. Versioning is important, which is mandatory in order to enable cross-region replication. Again, versioning is a different concept with AWS S3. As an example, you can store multiple versions of one object. So I'll be placing another video on versioning, how it works and how to enable the configuration. The object replicas in the destination bucket are exactly the same replica present in the source bucket. So basically, whatever you are placing in the source bucket, that will present in my destination bucket if you have CRR enabled. You can specify different storage uh, on the target bucket as well. So let's say if you have a storage of standard IA and defined at uh, source bucket, it's not necessary to have a standard storage again at destination bucket. It can be redundant storage, it can be glaciers. S3 encrypts all the data in transit across AWS region using SSL. So you don't have to worry about the security part. Replication process is asynchronous in nature. On the architectural model, uh, we have to decide what kind of model we want to implement in order to achieve CRR. So first part is, uh, or the first point is no replication. So we don't want to replicate our data from one region in a bucket to an another region. Second is unidirectional replication. So basically from source to destination. This is helpful during the backup process. As an example, let's say if you are taking a configuration backup in one bucket and you are just replicating that data to another region of a bucket. So if someone accidentally deleted one of a backup file from my source bucket, so I can at least retrieve the data from the destination bucket if my CRR is enabled. So this is very beneficial uh, while using the CRR concept. Bidirectional replication. So basically this comes during the active active scenario as an example, a basic example of active active scenario. Let's say we have a two data centers in picture and uh, which is an active active scenario. Let's say my one data center is down. So at least the request will serve from the another data center, keeping my application highly available to the user. So that's where the concept of high availability comes into picture. Costing wise, replication has no charges. So you just have to pay on the storage side, whatever you store, you have to pay for that. So this is something basic on the cross region replication that we have. So we'll be performing the practical. So for that, we have to go to our AWS management console. So this is my AWS management console. I have logged in with my user Shashank. To complete the configuration, we have to go to our S3 console. So go to the services. In the storage section, you will find S3. Click that. This is my S3 console. As you can see, I have three buckets already present in it. But for this particular video, we'll be creating two new buckets. One is source and one is destination. So for that, click create bucket. So the bucket name needs to be unique. Let's say SRC for source cross region replication. I'm placing first bucket in Northern Virginia. It depends upon your requirement. You can place or you can pick any of the region. Okay. Click next. As a mandatory step, we have to enable the versioning. Otherwise your CRR will not gonna work. So click this and keeping the rest setting for the bucket as default. Click next. Click next. Create bucket. And it's not necessary to have a bucket public while enabling the CRR. So first bucket is created, which is my source. 
I'll be creating another bucket called destination. So let's say dest cross region replication. And I'll be placing this bucket in my Frankfurt region, which is my Europe. Click next. For second bucket as well, you have to enable the versioning. Check the box. Click next. Keeping rest of the settings as default. Click next and create bucket. So my two buckets are ready now. So to enable the cross region replication, we have to go to our source bucket. So we are into source bucket just on the safer side, just cross check whether your versioning is enabled or not. So for that, you have to go into the properties section and here you can see versioning is enabled. To complete the CRR configuration, we have to go to the management tab. Here we have an option of replication tab. Click that and we have to create a rule. To create a rule, you have to click on add rule. So there are like few options. You can replicate entire bucket, like all the objects within the bucket to the destination bucket, or you can uh, move specific file, like with, the with tagging or with some prefix. So I'll be going to replicate entire bucket. Second option is uh, replication criteria. So with this new uh, feature, we can uh, also replicate encrypted data files, uh, which is encrypted with uh, KMS. KMS is a different concept, key, me uh, key management service, basically uh, deals with the encryption and decryption mechanism. So I have already placed a video on KMS. If you haven't uh, watched that, please do watch that and uh, understand the concept of KMS. Click that and then you have to select a key since I have already five keys so it's selected by default. Click next. You have to select a destination bucket over here. Again, uh, the replication can be done within an account and outside an account as well. So I'm doing this replication within an account. So as you can see, I have a destination cross region replication already present. Click that. KMS you have to select it because whatever data you are uh, placing or what is the configuration you are doing with the source bucket you have to do it with the destination bucket as well. As I said uh, you can change the storage class it's not necessary to have a standard storage class. So I'll be selecting reduce redundancy although this is not recommended but you can select any of it like gla glacier or any other storage class. Click next. So to have CRR working or the CRR configuration to get working, you have to create a role. So I'm allowing AWS to create a role on behalf of me. So click that and type the name of a role, which is cross region replication status is enabled. Click next and save. This will going to take few milliseconds to come up. Here we go, cross region replication updated successfully. So let's go to the destination bucket and we're gonna cross verify whether versioning is enabled or not. Here we go, versioning is enabled. So next step is to upload some data to our source bucket just to check whether it's getting replicated or not. So the replication generally happens very fast in few milliseconds, so I'm gonna Upload one of our screenshot over here in source bucket, click upload. And it has started, almost done. 100% successful. So if you can see the name is uh, screenshot 2019-715 and the timing is 5.35-32 p.m. PNG. And the actual timing of upload is 5.50-19 a.m. And the storage class is standard. Let's go to our destination bucket. Let's see, just refresh it. Awesome, it's the same image that has been replicated to my source bucket, uh, I mean the destination bucket. You can see the timing is 5.50, 19 a.m. And the storage class is reduce redundancy. So that means you don't have to specify same storage class that is present in my source bucket. Awesome. So another point to note here, 
in terms of let's say someone accidentally deleted my data from source bucket so will it impact my destination bucket will I lose the file from destination buckets let's see that let's delete the file from source bucket so I don't have any file in my source bucket which is which is in northern Virginia let's go to destination bucket let's see it. refresh it multiple times here we go we are not losing the data so that means if uh, we are secure from the backup point of view another point to note here in terms of versioning since we have enabled versioning so if you see uh, version is by default hidden if you click show it will show you the latest version as of now we don't have any uh, another version of that particular object but that's why it's showing only one which is the latest one and again if you go to the source bucket where we deleted the data intentionally if you show on the versions tab you will get to know about the file is present the previous version of the file is already present so you can download it as well so that's why versioning is quite important and that will allow you to have a properly secure data even if someone is accidentally deleted you can download the pre previous version of the data as well so that's it guys uh, for this particular video play around your s3 bucket try to move or replicate multiple objects from one bucket to another bucket from one region to an another region and just place out a comment in the comment section if you have any concern or an issue i'll be there to help you right away